I've said it before and I'll say it again. Boy, can I pick them. Pretty hot, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but it's, it's not really my thing. Gee, I think a guy like you'd look pretty great in one of these. You think? Absolutely. Here, slide on into it. See how it feels. <laughs> what about the Bentley? I got the guys in back washing it up for you. We have a few minutes. Ah, sure, why not? It's always been my motto. <laughs> oh, pretty snug. <laughs> Tight's good, don't you think? <laughs> Sure, tight's good. Oh, hi. Hi. So where do they put the engine in these things? They put it where it belongs. In the rear. Huh. So, no stick? No, you shift from the wheel. Let me show you. Left side down, right side up. You don't need a stick. And then I've got one anyway. Is that your cell phone? Boy, I hope so. <laughs> the hell are you doing here? I could ask you that question. And the answer would be the same, stalking. <laughs> No, no, I'm not, uh... Good at it? Charlie! It's so good to see you. It's okay to see you, too. Charlie? What? Gum? <laughs> Sorry. What a great day I had. All the kids were so well-behaved, even Jake. That's nice. Can't tell you a little secret. I never really cared for Jake. <laughs> but you said you treated him like all the other kids. Well, you have to say that. <laughs> so, where are we going to dinner? Um, I hadn't really decided. You came unprepared? <laughs> Charlie, you have so much potential if only you'd apply yourself. All right, I gotta tell you, um, my weirdness bar for chicks is Pretty high. <laughs> but you are clearing it in street shoes. You're mad at me. No, no. Yes, you are. No, no, not, not, not mad. Then what's your problem? <laughs> uh, nothing, forget it. Let's just have a nice evening. Oh, Charlie, that is so sweet. Let's never fight again. <laughs> Oh, no, I hate it. I, I hate to interrupt, but I'm still trying to process the I'm her brother thing. Not the shiniest penny in the roll, is he? Now, all right, I guess I better spell it out for you. Based on the amount of time that elapsed between the last fondue party and Gloria's birth, and not to mention the fact that Sherman lost interest in traditional sex with me, thank you very much. There is the very real possibility that your father may be her father. Oh, wow. God. So you can see why a tryst of this nature is completely unacceptable. It's not like we couldn't have foreseen this, given that your son has spent the bulk of his adult life humping his way through the greater Los Angeles area. <laughs> oh, and like this booze-addled tart is an innocent victim? Hey, I'm drunk, not deaf. <laughs> Just get out of bed and get dressed. Well, that was humiliating. Just be glad we didn't have to tell them about our little experiment. Wow. Yeah. I am so horny right now, I can't believe it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you miss what just went down here, sis? Oh, come on. It's not like we're going to get married and have a bunch of web-footed kids. <laughs> you have absolutely no boundaries, do you? Well... I don't like fat guys. Interesting. Turns out, I draw the line at incest. 
So you do a fat guy? <laughs> oh, what a glorious day to bask in the forgiveness of our Lord. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jake, I have wonderful news. From now on, as part of each lesson, we're going to spend time casting demons out of you. It's the devil that's making him stupid. <laughs> I told you it wasn't my fault. Uh, uh, Miss Pasternak, well, I'm thrilled that you're helping Jake with his schoolwork. I'm not sure an exorcism is really called for. Do you want your son to go to hell, Alan? Depends. Do they have a college prep program? Eternal damnation is no laughing matter. I know. I've been married twice. <laughs> A jock strap in hell? Yes, but not your own. <laughs> anyway, I just came down to tell you all it's time to get dressed for church. Uh, uh, gee, uh, thanks for the invite, but uh, Sunday is kind of our me day. Sunday's not a me day, it's a he day, and he will strike down the blasphemers and the disbelievers with fury and blood soaked vengeance. So, chop chop, washy washy. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Boy, can I pick him. I don't believe it. She used me, she scammed me, she took my money. Courtney. What? I'll wait for you. Thank God, meet. I love you, Rose. I love you too, Charlie. Mm. And may I say, I would never try to change you the way she has. Her name's Mia. I know what her name is. I also know where she lives, her employment history. And if you want, I can get you photographs of a wet t-shirt contest she entered during spring break 1995 at a college bar called Senior Frogs. I forgot who I'm dealing with. I also know you have to hide from her just to smoke a cigar and slam back a warm beer. What'd you do, bug my garage? Don't be paranoid. I have a long-standing arrangement with Jake. Charlie, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm out here. Go, 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 go. OK, I'll go. But I want you to remember one thing. What? I'm not going to wait for you forever. <laughs> Say it, Charlie. Say what? Say that slick, cool Charlie Harper finally wants Eckleberry Hound. Oh. <laughs> you knew about that name? That name scarred me for life. It's a reason I haven't eaten a carbohydrate since college. Well, you do look good. You're damn right I look good, you smug, shallow son of a bitch. I have spent years working and sweating and dreaming about the day that I would be able to rub your smarmy nose in it. Okay, I'm getting mixed signals here. <laughs> this is the signal, Charlie. You can't have this. Not now, not ever. Never, never, never! You know, I didn't make up the Eckleberry Hound thing. But he did spread it around. I, I was always your friend. Oh, please. I spent years throwing myself at you, friend, playing stupid nerd games on my bed with my shirt open, buddy, hoping and praying that you would kiss me or touch me or at least notice me as a woman, pal! You knew your shirt was open? Who do you think opened it? Oh. Don't you realize that our souls are now bound together, destined to writhe ecstatically in blessed hellfire for all eternity? <laughs> Boy, I know how to pick them, do I? Charlie, do you remember the vows you took last night? Vows? You took vows? What kind of vows? If you'll shut up, maybe we'll find out. You vowed unending fealty to the Sisterhood of the Coven. You did that? Why would you do that? Will you please shut up? I did that? Why would I do that? Did you think that all those beautiful women were pleasuring you because of your boyish charm? Well, no, not, 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 not all of them. I, I just figured after the first three or four, word of mouth started to spread. Wait, wait, uh, 
how many women are we talking about here? I, I don't know, nine, ten? Thirteen. Nine. The sacred number. And a personal best for me. <laughs> there we go. Watch your step. I can't feel my face, Charlie. You just had two wisdom teeth pulled. Watch the drool. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That is a very sexy woman. I'm sorry? That arouses you? How are you doing? Chowie, hey. walk away. Thanks. This could be interesting. You got a nice swing. Try stepping into it. You get more power that way. You mean like this? Oh, yeah. Dial one in the area code, because that is long distance. Shall we? Let's go. This woman is queer. We are lunatic. Yeah, but look at the passion. The fire. The ass. Is this your car? Crazy to you? Well, frankly. <laughs> so whose car is it? Cheating boyfriend? No. Psychiatrist. Shall we? Psychiatrist? What more do you need to heal? So you're beating up your shrink's car? He said I have anger issues. The quack. Then he hit on me. The horny quack. Hey, hold this for me. Oh, good. I'm on deck. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to take forever. Either one of you guys got an ice pick? <laughs> Don't cars like this usually have an alarm system? Let's get out of here, Charlie. Hey! You're not just gonna leave me here, are you? Yes. Alan, Charlie. Men, 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 manly men.